Hey everyone, a few days ago I did a video about the temperatures of my 1080 Ti and what I did was bring down the temperature from 85% uh, down to 70% but the problem is in the UK now the temperatures are over 20 degrees this week so it is pretty warm and especially in a room that's got 30 graphics cards so what I'd like to do in this video is show you how I'm going to resolve that I'm going to move my 1080 Ti uh, from my main PC into the rig uh, as you can see, I've got a lapel mic, and the reason is, I've, you know, I'm hoping that the audio isn't too bad. I could have recorded it through my my computer with a better uh, mic, but I wanted to kind of move around when I'm recording. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll jump upstairs and I'll show you exactly what the problem is. So let's do that. Right, guys. So now I'm in my office, and it should be a little bit noisier. It's not too bad. I normally have this fan running a little bit, um, but here's the problem. Now those are all 1060s. Those four are 1080 Ti's and, and this PSU can handle six if I underpower them. So that can handle six 1080 Ti's. But right now I've got two in my main PC. As I said, I sometimes cool them with this um, fan here, just a little cheap fan, but it does bring the temperatures down a few degrees. The problem I've got just now is that because there's two here, when one of them is on, it's fine. When two of them are on, the heat coming from one GPU is going directly into the others. There's not enough circulation and it just pushes the temperatures right up. So you can see that I've got it in SLI there. Now the reason I had that is from a gaming point of view and from a recording point of view, I could put those in SLI and I could record and I could stream at the same time much better than just using one GPU. Thing is, I've, I've not actually been using it. I've had it disabled, you know, even with that bridge being attached, you can dis uh, deactivate it on the PC so you don't actually have to use it. And I've found that I haven't been using it for months. I've not been streaming and recording games. So from a mining perspective, I think it's better to move this GPU out. So what I'm planning to do is to remove one of these GPUs, probably the, the bottom one, I think, and I'll put it up there. So I can show you the problem right now by showing you Awesome Miner. So you can see here, I've dropped the power down, the core clock and memory clocks down as well. I've had these much higher in the past, and that's something I need to tweak. Um, but if I look here, um, you can see that one of my 1080 Ti's is at 79%. And the other is also at 79%. Now that's very high, but it's also very high considering that the power is down at 69%. These other 1080 Ti's, which are you know, those four there, those ones are running 85%, but the temperatures are like 63, 70. So those ones are running at a higher power but they're, so obviously they're getting a higher hash rate, but they're also running at lower temperatures. Now the interesting thing is, if I disable this one here, I'm going to disable the first 1080 Ti, and you should see the temperature of this dropping. Now this can go all the way down now, it'll keep going down, it'll keep going down, and it'll probably go around, I had it under like 55 degrees earlier, it was really, really cool. So it just shows you how much having two 1080 Ti's affects this second one here, you know, the temperature is going to keep dropping down and keep dropping down. So yep, it'll go all the way down to like 55 or something like that. Very, very cool. So that's what I'm hoping to do. That's what I'm hoping to do. Um, many thanks to Richard who watches my channel. He recommended me doing staging. So I really do want to reevaluate the settings I've got for an, an MSI afterburner. Look at that, window open. That's not good. Um, I really want to evaluate what's happening um, MSI after, but I maybe check my core clock and memory clock and all that again. I did it in the past, and then I've put them down so not to you know cause any problems. Um, but Richard suggested setting the fan levels at different percentages, and the reason I said that is because when you set it auto mode, sometimes you aren't pushing the fans hard enough. You can see right now it's at sixty-four percent, and if you jump back over here, this is still dropping down. 64. Now this will go way under 60, but if I start this back up again, you'll see the temperature will start slowly going back up again, and that is the problem. Look at that, it's shot right up to 68 degrees there, and it'll keep going up and keep going up to like 79, 80. So that is the problem, that's the problem that I've got right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is take the 1080 Ti out of here, put it up there, and then I'm going to evaluate the temperature of the, the, the GPU over there. It should be the same as the other ones. And I'm going to evaluate the temperature of my 1080 Ti. 
not only will this make my room cooler, it will should also give me a, a better hash rate. So I'm going to be getting more soils. Now that is one of the things, you know, when I had that running 85%, the temperatures went so high, that was at like 740, 745, 750 soils. Dropping it down by 15% dropped the soils by like 40, 50 soils. So the hot temperatures and reducing the power is good. I mean, obviously I want to protect my GPUs, but at the same time I want to get a good hash rate. So doing this, I'll cool the room and I should get a better hash rate. So let's do it. So the graphics card is out, everything is put back together, but unfortunately it wasn't showing, my 1080 Ti wasn't showing there, so I've had to reinstall the drivers and now I'm going to restart. And fingers crossed this should get my single 1080 Ti working again. Um, a little bit surprised that that happened, I just assumed that because it was working before it would be okay when I take one out, but I'll get this sorted and then we can test out the temperatures. So everything is running okay now. All I had to do was uninstall the NVIDIA drivers and reinstall them. Everything's good now. And you can see I've got the power rating at 85. And despite putting the power from 70 up to 85, the temperature's sitting around 68, 69 degrees for the 1080 Ti. And you can see now this one does not exist. Now this one here, this second one, I've got it sitting up there. And what I'm going to do is put it into Rig 4, what I've called Rig 4, where I've got four 1080 Ti's. And then I'm going to see how that performs. This one just now, as I said, is at 69%. If I had to drop it back down to around 70, then obviously the temperature is going to come down accordingly. You can see the max temperature is down there as well. This will slowly come down in temperature. But I'm going to, I'm going to keep it set at around 85 just now, if I can. Now as far as the, the hash rate goes, I'm getting around 700, and so, uh, 700 soils, it's saying 707 there just now. Um, that's actually not too bad, this can do, you know, these cars can do about 750 or so, depending on the conditions. Um, but obviously this graphics card is also powering this display and it's, dis you know, it's powering a few other things as well. I can use the integrated graphics to power the display, but I've just found that using the graphics card just seems to work better with everything. So yeah, I've got it running about uh, 700 soles just now with the display on. When I turn off the display, I'll probably get a little bit more, maybe another 10 or 20 soles. But right now what I want to do is move this second 1080 Ti onto rig four at the top there. So this is my second 1080 Ti. This was the one that was in my main PC and I want to put it into rig four. What I need to do now is put on the PCI Express riser. Now previously I had these ones. Uh, these are the ones that are on the other rigs. And um, the problem that I've got right now with these ones is the fact that these require a SATA cable to be powered. You put it in like that and then you connect a SATA power cable. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any more SATA cables for this particular PSU. I do have ones for uh, other PSUs, but I thought I would try and use the right cables. Don't want to risk anything going wrong. Thankfully, put this in, I have other PCI Express risers. I have a newer version. Now these newer versions, I've done a video about these before. Um, there we go. So I've done a video about these before and you can see these can be powered in a number of different ways. But in these ones I can take, if I can get it, I can take this um, four pin power cable and I can use this four pin ATX power cable to plug directly into this and it should give me the power that I need. So I'll just put it in like that. And all the way at this side, this will go into my PSU. And it's very, very simple. All I have to do is 
attach this to one side. This goes into, oh, if I can get it. Oh, it's tangled up. So this goes in to here. This will attach to my motherboard and it's how I transfer the data from the graphics card to the computer. But all I have to do now is actually attach the riser itself to the GPU. Once it's connected on, I can push that down, it'll secure it in, and that's it. So when I take this over to my rig, this is going to go to my, uh, my power unit, my PSU, and this is going to connect to the motherboard. So all five 1080 Ti's are now spinning on my open air rig. And if I jump back to my computer, you should be able to see here, I've got rig four and now I've changed it so it says five 1080 Ti's. So I've got my main one, this is the, my, my remaining 1080 Ti, my main PC. But on rig four, I now have five GPUs, zero, one, two, three, four. And the temperatures are kind of varying. They're going between, you know, kind of 60, mid 60s to 70s. Now, of course, the weather is warm. This is something that I can tweak. I'm going to have to, you know, continually change and monitor things to make sure everything's okay. But as you can see, I've taken everything out. I've lowered the temperatures and I don't have to worry now about the remaining one, which is in there. Um, I don't have to worry about that being too warm. So guys, I'm back downstairs now. It's a little bit quieter here, but it's also a little bit cooler. It's very, very warm in my room right now because of the summer. Um, it's just one of those things. You know, in the winter, it's great having all those GPUs in the office, but right now in the summer, temperatures are pretty high. Um, the whole process there wasn't that bad. Um, I ran into a few little niggling problems. These are the kind of things that always happen when you, you know, when you work on your rigs, when you're changing anything. Um, I noticed at one point that I actually still had the original cellophane still on the back of the, the 1080 Ti. So I removed that. I don't know if that makes any difference to heat, but I removed it anyway. Um, as far as actually taking out the 1080 Ti's and things like that, no problems there. When I put them onto the opening a rig, I had to kind of mess around with the cable ties. They're a little bit fidgety. can sometimes take 10 minutes to get all the cables there and get everything tied up. But it did work okay. The thing that actually drained the most time was the fact that Windows needed to be updated. So I had updated Windows on my main PC recently. It was an absolute pain in the ass. And whenever you do it, it installs all these games, all these apps that you don't want. So I noticed that despite the fact that I'd went into services in each of the four rigs, so essentially four computers, I had disabled uh, Windows updates. I completely disabled it. Despite that, when I went to shut down or click on the power button on, uh, on each PC and each rig, it says shut down and restart, like restart and update or update and shut down, whatever it says. I can't remember exactly what it says. But uh, I basically updated all those PCs as well. So I decided, you know, because it was kind of messing around with the rigs, I updated Windows on all of those uh, rigs as well. Um, I also had a problem, well, not a problem, but when I added the 1080 uh, Ti to the main rig, um, it was seeing it in the device manager, but Awesome Miner wasn't uh, finding it for so for whatever reason the four 1080i's were spinning originally, um, but the f you, they were all spinning. But the fifth one, the one that I added, the one that came from my main PC, it was there. You know, it was there in the device manager, and everything was working okay. Restarted the computer, it was spinning. Everything was fine. 
Uh, on my main PC, I did have to uninstall the, the, the NVIDIA software and reinstall it again. But nothing really major, no major problems there. So what I've done is when my, um, with those cards, as I showed you earlier on, at 70% power, those things were pushing 80 degrees. By taking them out, uh, taking one out and putting it into opening a rig, keeping one in the main PC, those two 1080 Ti's which were running about 80 degrees in the main PC, both of them are now under 70 degrees and both of them are now running at 15% more power. So I'm, I've got a higher hash rate, I've got a lower temperature as well. Now, I've kind of stressed this a few times in other videos, but you do need to tweak these things a lot. I kind of had things running on autopilot for a while and I hadn't really checked things, but I think it's time that I should review some things. Richard's suggestion to maybe look at uh, staging my fans so that, you know, I've got them on auto just now, but I should maybe stage the fans so that they come on a little bit earlier so that the fans cool down the GPUs. And, you know, when your GPUs are cooler, you can get more hash rate out of them, you can get more mining out of them, get more money out of them. So I'm going to have to do that as well. I'm going to have to maybe see if I can push my cards a little bit more. The thing is with that, you know, when you're testing what the cards can do and what they can't do, you need to push them to the limit until it crashes and then dial it back. And you need to do that for each algorithm that you're mining with. So, yeah, I need to do that again. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, if, if I'm honest, but it's something I, sh I probably should revisit because I've not done it in a few months. So I'm going to do that. But, yeah, all of this is, has been a complete success. I've dropped it the temperatures. I'm getting more power out of it now, so I'm making more money from my cards as well. All's, all's great. So, again, I'm going to monitor some things. I'm going to do some more testing over the next week or so. But all in all, it was all successful. Pain in to do. You know, it took an hour or so to get through everything, maybe longer than that because it was updating Windows. But it's all done now. I'm making more money and my GPUs aren't being stressed as much. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do leave a comment if you've got any questions about this. And stay tuned because I will be doing more mining videos in the future. So until next time, guys, take care.